Hi, this is Ron Nutter with another edition of Tech Bytes with Ron Nutter. We're going to do something a little bit out of sequence from what I had initially planned. Now, the last video that I did was the getting Cortana to run on your smartphone. So we've got one more step I need to do here, and then we'll be ready to go, and we'll start that right now. <laughs> Okay, well, technology is great when it works, so I'm going to have to bring something to bear here real quick because I realized when I got started, I wasn't totally set to go here, but that's the one thing great about technology. You can fix it just about any time, so we're going to, through the magic of technology, I'm going to get my iPhone connected to my Mac, which hopefully I'll be showing a device here shortly that uh, I'll be able to use a little bit different phone and we should be good to go there. Okay, well what we're going to do at this point, thanks to the good folks at Harman Kardon, they sent me the Harman Kardon Invoke. Now you think, okay, this is just another Bluetooth speaker. No folks, it really isn't. What is nice about this is it has Cortana built in, and right now it's the only device that I found that has Cortana built in. So if you're looking to, to be able to use Cortana and don't always want to have to have a smartphone nearby, this is going to be your way to it. And it's priced very reasonably. It's suggested retail I've seen is at $200. You're going to be able to find it less than that. There's always specials going on. And between Harman Kardon's website and Amazon, you know, you shouldn't have any problems, and you will uh, have a link in the description for this video, which is directly to Amazon, which is, you know, where I would have gotten it had the folks at Harman Kardon not sent me one to, to work with, and I do appreciate that because it really helps. What we're going to go ahead and do is I'm going to get it plugged in. I've got a little power strip just off camera here, and you're going to see this start to come to life, and it's already... It takes it just a second to, to come online here. Of course, like anything, it's got to go through some self-test diagnostics. And we'll hear it come to life here momentarily. And then when it, once it goes to a special pattern, then we will go through the steps here. And just about ready. It takes always seems to take longer than you want it to. While we're waiting for it to come up, I do want to say that... There you There we go. So that's the first step. And now, this is the pattern that you want to see on the top of the Harman card. That says it's ready for pairing. If Hi there, I'm Cortana. I'm here to help. Let's get your Harman Kardon Invoke ready to use. We'll set it up from the Cortana app on your phone or PC. So go grab that first. Okay, Cortana. Then type, set up my Invoke. Okay, well, we're going to do it a little bit differently, but I found this is the way that worked. So what we'll do here is we'll go ahead and switch over to the uh, I, my, my iPhone here. Let me take off my uh, title down here at the bottom. Now we'll tap on the three little menu bars that you see right here up top. That's how you get into the menu system from Cortana. We'll tap Ready on devices. Setup. We'll do this from the Cortana app on your phone or PC. So go grab that first. We're then get... type set up my invoke. We're getting there Cortana. Just a moment. Ready for setup. We'll so, do this from the Cortana app on your phone or PC. So go grab that first. So we'll, then type set up my invoke. You can't script this stuff, folks. You really can't. So we'll tap on the the I accept piece down here, and then we'll tap next. And you know, much like you're seeing on the on the screen here, and that's the pattern you're also seeing on the phone. And also remember. Turn Bluetooth on. So that's this little icon right up here if you're not ever never dealt with the the other things that much. So we'll tap next. And it's now already it, it already sees me as having logged in. So we'll say yes, we want to sign into HK Invoke. And it's going through the different permissions it's going to have to have. So we'll say yes. And then this is yet more things that you're going to need to have it, you know, get allowed to have access to for it to work. And, okay, you didn't see that piece, but we'll go ahead and there because it's, okay, come on. There we go. 
and it sees the invoke that's there, so we'll just tap on that. And now it's going out and discovering the wireless network. Now it found this wireless uh, right out of the gate the first time I went, and I've been through this setup several times. It sometimes will find the 2.4, but I try to give a preference to, to the 5 gig because I like having everything on 5 gigs for speed. And there's still a lot of stuff sitting out there on 2.4 gigs. So this is just, it, it just gives you some more frequencies to work with. So we'll tap next. Now you can change the name of your particular invoke by just tapping there and you can change it, but we'll leave it at the way it is. And we'll tap next. And then it's going to get the invoke to to join. So it's now waiting for it to for the to talk back and forth, and it will be ready here in just a second. There we go. And when you see it changing like that, that's a good indication. So it says it has joined, and I will tap done here on the screen, and almost there. Okay. You're all set. Whenever you're ready, say, hey, Cortana, and tell me what you'd like me to do. Okay, now I'm, I'm going ahead and selected TuneIn. You can select iHeartRadio, which is also a free option. And for Spotify, you've got to have a premium subscription, but I'm used to working with TuneIn, so we'll, we'll stay with that one for now. And if you are on Office 365, you'll want to use this, you know, go ahead and tap to connect there, but at this point it's already connected through my Outlook.com account, so we'll just say skip. And this is a whole video you can go through. I won't bore you with, with that because you'll get to see that on your own. And at this point, you, you'll see this kind of pattern, just like it shows on the screen. And it's going to want to go through some setup, and it's may, it may even give you a message here at some point that it's got to download an update. So we'll say try some skills. Uh, we'll say skip because and really now at this point you're done. Now it will it's going to sit here for a couple of minutes while it, it wants to go through and get an update. See we're already on the screen it says the device is ready. So we'll go hey Cortana what's the temperature? I lost the thread there. Can you phrase it another way? Hey, Cortana, what's the current temperature? Right now, it's clear and 47. So that you know, is a real basic command, but there are all sorts of things, and we'll get into this in future videos on getting Cortana linked with the different smart devices that I've got. I've already got another one on the way, should be here tomorrow and I'll probably the next video I do hopefully in two days from now and then as I get a few more devices online then we'll look at doing showing you the setup between the different devices and just in the in the short time that I've had the invoke I have been very pleased man really my expectations were not high and Harman Kardon please don't take this the wrong way my expectations were not high as to the quality of the audio in terms of when I was playing music it was very well to call it very acceptable is not even is not putting it in the right light it sounded like a regular stereo speaker but in a much tinier package and i hate to say this amazon you could uh learn some lessons here because the the sound was much richer uh for those of you who are, are audiophiles it's the difference between hearing it on a two-way speaker versus a three-way speaker and if, if you're not used to those terms, a three-way speaker has three different speakers in it, a tweeter, a mid-range, and a woofer. And a woofer is the real big speaker. A two-way speaker is going to have most likely a tweeter or a combination tweeter mid-range that's trying to do a lot in just one, and then you'll have your, your big woofer. So a three-way uh, speaker is, a, is much better. But this is, as you see, it's very straightforward to set up. And now, you know, this is ready to uh to go we'll go back to the main screen here it's i have been very pleased because on how easy this is to work with because Roses i have are red gandalf is gray i'm speaking in verse it's world poetry day 
And what I accidentally did and which got it started is you can tap up top there and that will get it started on something. Well, it did, but let's try it again. Use a head scratcher. Fingernails grow four times faster than... Okay, we'll turn it down here a little bit. Uh, it's, a, it's a very easy to work with system. It's If you need to reset it for some reason, it's, it's very straightforward to do. You can pair it as a regular Bluetooth speaker. There's a little button down here at the base. Now, this is the one that does the, can, you can do the resetting with. And then this is the one that will pair it as a Bluetooth speaker to another device. And we'll be covering more of this as we move on. But I wanted you to see that there was an option with Cortana. And I didn't know about this until uh, a few days ago. And like I said, the folks at Harmon Carter were very gracious of getting one right out to me. And that, that is much appreciated. As we move forward, you know, we'll, I'll try to do an even rotation of things, showing you the different options on how things are going to hook up. Uh, there are affiliate links in the, in the uh, description for the video that will show you where you can get your own Harman Kardon if you do buy one. I know Harman Kardon will appreciate it, but it'll help me too because I'll get a small commission from that. That's not going to change what you pay or affect the price in any way, but helps go to offset the cost of doing the channel in the equipment I've been getting. So I'll be doing videos two to maybe three times a week. If I keep getting enough things in, then I'll probably have to look at going to three times a week because I want to get the videos out to you in a timely manner as possible. And then hopefully within the next three months, and I may push it out to four, then you'll actually see the book come out. And while normally when I release a book, I do it on the Kindle platform first and then release the paperback later, I may go for a simultaneous release so that you can have your choice of whichever method you want to do it. So that's uh, what we're trying to do. I'll have links in the video. See, no, I'm going to point this way. I have to think in reverse. You'll see links over here to the different playlists. I'll always have the Cortana ones on a separate list. And then you'll see like a general playlist for all the uh, different videos that I'm doing. So you have the option. You don't have to, to go in and out and try to figure out where things are. I'll try to make it as straightforward as I can. If you know of anybody who would be able to take advantage of this, please forward the links to them. If you're a nonprofit or a service organization, this is great technology to put in the hands of the handicapped or those that have other challenges to where working with normal switches and lights may not always be the most straightforward thing to do. But if you have any questions, please reach out to me because I want this to you to get as much enjoyment out of this and learn as much as you can without having to spend the kind of money that, that some people have. And I heaven's knows I've bought quite a bit of this myself, but for you to be able to get the most effective path to doing what, you know, you want things to do. And then, you know, there's a whole picture of things we've got. We'll be dealing with, with all the different pieces that tie into Cortana to the other devices. So it's just one step at a time, but thank you very much for your time and watching this video. Please check out the, whoops, got to get, <laughs> I have to think in reverse. It's, it's actually over here. The other playlist you'll see on the screen because I just want, you know, to help you as much as I can. So if you have any requests or things you'd like me to cover or things you'd like me to show that I haven't or show in more detail, please reach out to me because I want this to be as much help to you as it can be. Thank you very much for your time, and we'll see you in the next video.